a black woman. I'm plus size. I'm I'm newly married. I still want to have a baby at my age. How? You know, I don't know. Recognize comedian Jackie Fabulous from America's Got Talent, and you have a chance to see that talent for yourself tonight in Rosemont. She's here with us this morning to talk about her comedy tour and show at Zany's at Comedy Club. Jackie, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having we, me. We always love a good laugh, especially on a Thursday, right? At, the, like, at the crack of dawn. And at the end of the week, we are <laughs> tired. Um, so what, do you, what topics do you usually touch on during your, your comedy performances? You know, my muse of late are my second husband. Husband. I'm newly married, so I can And he's sitting right and he's over here. here, by the way. Hi, baby. Yes. Maybe you could step into frame. Can you please? Oh, Lord. Please do. <laughs> Don't so, create a monster. So with him sta standing right here, Jackie, um, what types of things would you say about him? Um, wow. A really great heart. He takes, he takes really good care of me. He really cares about how I feel on a day-to-day -day basis. The kind of man who makes you tea without you asking all day what long. A great, how do you make... You can sit down. I know you're uncomfortable. Thank you so very much. But what, how do you poke fun at someone like that? Oh, because he's also hilarious and doesn't realize it because he's an old-school guy. As in, like, he still dresses like he's trash and naughty by nature, that kind of thing. <laughs> You know, he still gotcha. wants to be a DJ. You know, that kind of guy. Which one? Which one? There's 11 cameras. I know. <laughs> right okay. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> um, so that's one of the topics. What about of things going on in the world? Do you ever touch on that? Um, you know what? I feel like people come to see me perform to get a break from that. Amen. You know, and I, yes. I test the waters with like a little bit of a joke, a jokey joke about, you know, our president, past and future. And if I see somebody go like this, I'm like, oh, not the room. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I read the room, read the good room, room reader. Yeah. Okay, so for people out there who maybe get really nervous mm -hmm. in social settings yeah. or in front of crowds, I guess those are two different scenarios, but what advice would you have for them? Because there had to have been a point when you started out, maybe there wasn't, where you kind of were, you know, got kind of nervous. You know what has helped a lot is um, the vodka. It's a lot of oh. alcohol when you first start. But besides that... I'm not recommending that to anybody out there. Don't knock it till you try it. Okay. But besides alcohol, it's just... I've always been a good public speaker. I didn't. I've never had the nerves in front of a crowd, and I was the funny girl without being the annoying clown. So I kind of I know how to relate to relate to an audience by being funny without isolating, without monopolizing. You know the topic at the time in the world. I kind mm -hmm. of give people a break. So I've never really had that kind of nerves. And for those who feel like that, the, imagining your audience naked. That's never an old. Not not too old to bring that back. Mm -hmm. And um, remembering that your people are paid to see you and they're. We're watching you. So if you're the headliner, whatever show you're doing, whether it's five minutes or 45 minutes, and trust that people came to see you and they're hanging on your every word. They want to see you. You're right. there for a reason. You're here yeah. in this amazing purple dress. Thank you. For an absolute reason. And, you are and people want to hear you. You are Jackie Fabulous. <laughs> um, so you're performing tonight at Zany's. Are there any other performances people can catch in in the t in uh, in our city? And in, uh, in this city, oh, tonight is my last show at Zany's. Okay. I was the Valentine's Extravaganza last Ooh. night. Tomorrow, can I? I'm going to be at Laughing Tap in Milwaukee. Okay. Can I say that? You can, because maybe people are going up there for the weekend. I hear it's closed, but I, you, yeah. you guys lie about that close thing. It's probably yeah, three hours away. Because our suburbs, you know, like people drive in for two hours to the city. They Ex commute into work. Exactly. Jackie, thank you so much well, for Before we in. go, Black yes. History Month, can I say hi to the black guy off frame? Hey, what's up? Why? I mean, I love you, but thank I'm just you. saying, can we not ignore the fact that what did do? Brian, come on over. Brian was... Brian, they were like, we don't need the black guy. Yes, you do. It's Black History Month. Thank you very Brian much. Brian was with the mentalist earlier, yes. which I kind of I kind of threw him into that. The so. mentalist? Oh, the yeah. guy who was here earlier with a cute yeah. leather jacket. Yeah. That, right. yeah. that yeah. made me nervous, me. so Brian kind of stepped up for that one. And, we, and we do not mess with that kind of stuff. Black folk? Yeah. Anyway.